first time I saw Nar was in my driveway. It kind of broke my heart to see him like that. He was in um, very bad condition, I meaning like he was malnourished, um, very skinny. Honestly, I don't believe that he would have survived if he did not found us. He let me pet him a little bit, he was sniffing me. I just gave him some food. But I was trying to be careful not to feed him too much because, you know, he was very, very hungry. Me and my brother gave him a little mini bath outside. It was kind of surprising when we did clean him because he kind of let us do it. We, we had to um, just bring him to the emergency vet. And even though it was expensive, it was definitely worth it. The doctor who walked in was like, oh, this looks like a really sick cat. But after running a couple of tests, it turns out he had no diseases at all. He was just very anemic. His immune system was obviously very low. The initial plan was um, to help him just recover and then find a place for him to be. But um, after just spending you know, like a week with him, him getting used to our cats, he decided to adopt Nar. There's this game called League of Legends, and there's this character named Nar. The reason why I chose that was mostly because Nar is kind of known as like a survivor in that game, and that's how I view him. He's been through a lot, and he's a survivor. But yeah, this is him right now. He definitely got a lot bigger, yeah. He gained a lot more weight. When we first found him, like, could barely move. And now, he's, he's very, very energetic plays with the cats a little too much. His fur has grown back. His tail is very, very like fluffy again. I kind of just wanted people to see how easy it is to help like an animal in need like that. I feel like that would change the perception of humans from the animals kind of help us reconnect with nature.